Tesla just expanded aluminum smelting at Giga Texas, and it's not for car frames, it's for batteries. While competitors depend on China's 75% lithium monopoly, Tesla's aluminum ion technology delivers 15C continuous discharge, solving EV's hidden weakness, sustained power under load. But there's something bigger here most people are missing. Let's dive right in. Here's the dirty secret every EV manufacturer knows but won't say out loud. Fast charging doesn't mean your car drives strong. Sure, you can brag about going from 0 to 100% in 20 minutes, but why does your EV still hesitate when merging onto the highway with five passengers? Why does acceleration flatten out when climbing uphill with a full load? Because the real limitation isn't the recharge rate, it's discharge performance. And lithium-ion batteries have been failing us quietly for over three decades. Tesla's aluminum-ion battery solves the exact problem lithium-ion created. To understand why this matters, picture a fire hose connected to a garden hose valve. The water's there, but it can't flow fast enough when you need it. That's lithium-ion. Ions move slowly through the electrolyte, creating bottlenecks during high-demand situations. When you floor your EV, the battery management system actually limits power output to prevent overheating and voltage sag. A Tesla Model S Plaid can theoretically produce over 1,000 horsepower, but only for brief bursts before thermal and voltage limitations kick in. During sustained acceleration, like highway merging with a full load, actual power delivery drops significantly. This isn't a software problem. It's fundamental material science that's persisted since 1991. Tesla's aluminum ion cell uses what they call a tri-channel aluminum flow matrix. Think of lithium ion as a single lane highway where ions get stuck in traffic. Tesla's design creates multiple parallel pathways, like a multi-lane superhighway, allowing aluminum ions to move simultaneously without creating bottlenecks. The result? Dramatically reduced internal resistance and the ability to maintain high current flow without voltage drops. And here's what few people realize. Aluminum ions move through the electrolyte with less energy loss than lithium. More stored energy goes into propelling the vehicle rather than heating the battery pack. This is why Tesla's system can deliver sustained power without the sophisticated cooling systems that add weight and complexity to conventional EVS. The numbers are devastating to competitors. Tesla achieves a 15C continuous discharge rating, 375 watts per cell. Most lithium-ion batteries in compact EVs manage only 2C to 5C continuously. That's seven times more continuous power. Peak pulse discharge reaches 60 degrees Celsius to 1,500 ampere hours at the pack level for five seconds without degradation. Less than 4% voltage sag at 90% load. Maintaining greater than 94% power delivery after 10 consecutive acceleration cycles at 70 miles per hour. But this isn't just theoretical lab data. In Tesla's internal testing, a Model 2 prototype with only a single rear motor hit 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds. It maintained 98% torque output during a 12-minute uphill climb with full passenger and cargo load. Battery temperature increased by only 11.2 degrees Celsius during the entire climb. During towing tests, pulling a 2,000-pound trailer at 65 miles per hour on a 5% incline, peak discharge remained stable at 1,200 amperes. Full throttle, full load, full heat. And it just keeps going. Tesla also developed a carbon-integrated anode mesh designed for up to 1,000 amperes of instantaneous discharge, working with firmware-controlled power surge modulation that delivers adaptive burst output exactly when the driver demands it. Chemistry, structure, and software 
a complete system engineered for one purpose, unleashing power without hesitation. But the real story begins when you understand why Tesla can build this battery and nobody else can. And this is where things get interesting. Here's what the mainstream automotive press won't tell you. Even if you're building an EV in America or Europe, your battery is still made in China by Chinese-controlled supply chains. And that includes Tesla, until now. China controls over 75% of global lithium-ion battery manufacturing. But the dominance runs much deeper. China owns over 50% of cobalt refining capacity used in high-performance cathodes, over 80% of natural graphite anode processing, and almost all low-cost lithium hydroxide conversion plants used for EV batteries. This isn't accidental. It's decades of strategic investments in mining infrastructure, refining capabilities, and manufacturing scale. In 2024, China demonstrated exactly how much leverage this gives them. They implemented new export controls on graphite, a critical anode material. This single policy decision sent shockwaves through the global EV industry. Tesla alone had to reroute over $3.8 billion worth of battery materials due to export restrictions from Beijing. Companies scrambled for alternative suppliers and accepted higher costs. The message was clear. China's material dominance gives it control over the global transition to electric transportation. And here's a detail most people overlook. Lithium represents just 0.0002% of Earth's crust and is concentrated in a handful of geographic locations. This scarcity creates price volatility. Lithium prices have sometimes increased by 500% in a single year. There's also child labor concerns, rare earth leverage, and constant geopolitical risk. Aluminum changes everything. It's the most abundant metal in Earth's crust, making up about 8% of all rock and soil. It's refined locally in the United States, Canada, and Australia with zero geopolitical friction. No child labor, no export restrictions, no price extortion. Aluminum prices have remained relatively stable over decades, while lithium swings wildly. But there's something bigger here most people are missing. Tesla has been preparing for this moment longer than anyone realizes. In February 2021, over four years ago, an aluminum smelter was delivered to Giga, Texas. They've since expanded in-house smelting capacity and patented new battery-grade aluminum oxide treatments in late 2024, now embedded in the aluminum ion cell architecture. They're collaborating with Alcoa and Rio Tinto to develop carbon-neutral Elisis aluminum smelters with industrial trials that started in 2024. This isn't coincidence. This is war preparation. Tesla's vertical integration strategy means they control not just the raw material supply, but also the quality and specifications of the aluminum used in their batteries. Battery-grade aluminum requires extremely high purity levels. Even trace amounts of impurities significantly impact performance. By controlling this process internally, Tesla can optimize aluminum properties specifically for their battery chemistry, achieving performance advantages that competitors using commodity-grade aluminum cannot match. What Tesla is building isn't just a better battery, it's sovereignty total vertical integration from raw metal to battery to vehicle, entirely on United States soil. No delays from foreign ports, no risk of sanctions or export bans, no dependence on adversaries for critical materials. This leads to a remarkable discovery about Tesla's manufacturing revolution that makes this technology truly impossible to replicate. In 2021, Tesla quietly filed a patent titled Integrated Energy Storage System. Most analysts missed what it truly meant. On the surface, it described a battery pack with a honeycomb-structured bottom and built-in heat dissipation. 
But what it really outlined was something far more radical. A battery that isn't installed into the car. It is the car. Traditional structural batteries still maintain distinct separation between battery cells and vehicle structure. Tesla's approach fundamentally merges these systems. The aluminum used in the battery chemistry is the same aluminum used in the structural components, creating a unified system where the distinction between battery and chassis becomes meaningless. Here's how it works. Instead of building a battery as a separate unit and bolting it to the chassis, Tesla uses high-pressure aluminum casting, the same massive Giga Press technology that molds the rear frame of the Model Y to cast the battery structure directly into the car's body. Structural battery enclosures, thermal channels, even electrode conduits, all molded into one unified piece of the frame. No battery modules, no miles of wires, no bolts, no brackets, no glue. Just molten aluminum forming a vehicle that is simultaneously a machine and an energy source. The impact on manufacturing is staggering. By removing over 400 individual parts, Tesla slashed battery assembly time by more than 72%, cutting production costs by $1,600 per vehicle. Not just in materials, but in labor, robotics, and floor space. This isn't an incremental improvement. It's a complete rewrite of how electric vehicles are built, from the GigaPress up. And here's why this changes everything. This approach effectively makes Tesla's vehicles impossible to reverse engineer using traditional automotive manufacturing methods. Competitors would need to develop their own aluminum ion chemistry, build their own smelting capabilities, and create their own high-pressure casting systems. The barriers to entry aren't just technological, they're infrastructural, requiring billions of dollars and years of development time that most automakers cannot afford. Think about the strategic implications. While GM, Ford, and Volkswagen scramble to optimize lithium-ion technology and secure supply agreements with Chinese manufacturers, Tesla is preparing to leapfrog the entire industry with a solution that sidesteps the supply chain entirely. They're not just building better batteries, they're rewriting the rules of battery manufacturing. But there are real challenges ahead we need to acknowledge. Aluminum ion battery technology hasn't been proven at the scale Tesla is proposing. Energy density has historically been lower than lithium ion though Tesla's structural integration may offset this through weight savings. Long-term cycle life data is still limited. We don't know how these batteries perform after 5 or 10 years of real-world use through hundreds of thousands of cycles, in extreme temperatures from Arizona summers to Minnesota winters. There's also charging infrastructure. If aluminum-ion batteries require different charging protocols than lithium-ion systems, Tesla needs to upgrade their supercharger network, a massive infrastructure investment. However, their vertical integration means they control this entirely, unlike competitors relying on third-party networks. What happens if Tesla succeeds? Traditional automakers face an existential choice, continue depending on Chinese supply chains and accept competitive disadvantage, or invest billions in developing alternative battery technologies with uncertain returns. Most lack Tesla's engineering resources, manufacturing expertise, and risk tolerance for such a dramatic pivot. We could see industry consolidation, with smaller automakers either partnering with Tesla for battery supply or exiting the EV market entirely. The geopolitical implications are equally profound. A successful American-made aluminum-ion battery industry would reduce Western dependence on Chinese manufacturing, potentially reshaping global trade relationships around energy technology. The timeline is compressed. Tesla's partnerships with Alcoa and Rio Tinto began trials in 2024. Expanded smelting capacity at Giga Texas 
became operational in quarter 3, 2025. Battery-grade aluminum oxide treatment patents were filed in late 2024. Model 2 prototype testing happened in 2025. If production scaling follows Tesla's aggressive timeline, we could see first consumer vehicles with aluminum ion batteries rolling off production lines in late 2026 or early 2027. What we're watching isn't just new battery technology. It's the potential emergence of a new paradigm for advanced manufacturing in the 21st century. One where control over the entire value chain, from elemental materials to finished products, becomes the ultimate competitive advantage. Tesla isn't just building a better battery. They're demonstrating that vertical integration, controlling every step from raw materials to finished product, remains viable in an era of globalized supply chains. This runs counter to decades of manufacturing wisdom, emphasizing specialization and outsourcing. If Tesla succeeds, it could inspire a renaissance in American industrial policy, with other industries reconsidering the strategic value of domestic production capabilities. The question now isn't whether aluminum ion batteries work. Tesla's internal testing data proves they do. The question is whether the rest of the automotive industry can respond quickly enough, or if we're about to witness the most dramatic competitive divergence in automotive history since the internal combustion engine displaced horse-drawn carriages. One thing is certain, whoever controls battery technology in the next decade controls the future of transportation. Tesla just made their move, and it might actually be unstoppable. This is exactly why Elon Musk reposted that comparison about copper versus aluminum on X. It wasn't about metals, it was a breadcrumb. Tesla isn't just building a better battery. They're executing a complete decoupling from the supply chain that's controlled global EV production for three decades. Sustained power delivery, American sovereignty, and impossible to replicate manufacturing all in one move. And this is just the beginning. By late 2026, we'll see if the first aluminum ion vehicles hit production lines. If they do, the automotive landscape transforms overnight. If they don't, we'll learn exactly what challenges remain in scaling this technology. Either way, the industry just split into two paths, those controlling their supply chains and those depending on others. Here's my question. Do you think traditional automakers can pivot fast enough? Or are we watching the beginning of Tesla's total market dominance? Drop your thoughts below. This is Tech Revolution, and we dive deep into the breakthroughs reshaping transportation and energy. If you want more technical analysis like this, hit subscribe. The EV revolution is accelerating, and someone's about to get left behind.